introducing first, by the red corner, he says 5'8", 9 inches tall, weighing at fight time at 146.8 pounds. He has a professional kickboxing record of one win, two losses, and one draw. Fighting out of Mesa, Arizona, representing Dan's gym, this is Jordan, the Ginger Ninja! Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the black corner. He says six feet four inches tall, weighing out fight time at 147.8 pounds. He has a perfect professional kickboxing record of two wins and no defeats. Fighting out of the LBC, representing Hard Works Fitness, this is Evan Bolton! Man, the crowd is electric here tonight and in commerce, baby. Your referee, Luis Cobion. Oh, yeah, this guys. fight, a welterweight Moving action. the rules in the back, I want you to prepare yourself at all times and obey my command at all times. Sound rounds. of the bell, I want oh. you to come in and fight. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Taking on Evan Bolton. And these guys had a long, long history of amateur fights. Yeah, these guys are, and they are seasoned. That's We go for round number one. Evan's long, man, and he's he's unorthodox, so it's hard to figure out his rhythm. And he is, he's like a spider. I mean, <laughs> the thing just comes right out there, and yeah, he just goes right for it. Bowman, man, just reached out the long jab and that high yeah. kick. He reminds me of uh, Andy Risty. Oh, yeah. He's very unorthodox, can switch sides, switch stances, and can hit you when you don't expect it, man. He's using his range smart. He's crowding the smaller guy. Nice. And Evan nice. has a Muay Thai background, so he's not going to get bullied in the clinch. So this is going to be interesting to see how they deal with the modified kickboxing rules, but Evan's doing his thing right now. William Jordan tries to spin back this. Yeah, Jordan's in there, but it's looked like he's fighting right now, looking for desperation power. As Evan's just going through the motions, first round. Nice long knee to the thigh by Waylon. Oh yeah, it made Bolton lift his leg up the second time around. Yeah. Both fighters taking deep breaths already. Nice teep to the body by Bolton. Bolton is having success at the end of his straights. And Wayland's having success with those kicks and his looping punches. And the knees. Hey! Hey! Oy! I'm in a Muay Thai fight now, guys. <laughs> Nice pull back off the. Oh my! These guys are just going for it. Nice. These guys are throwing <laughs> caution to the wind early. Nice teep. Leland swinging yeah. for the fences. And Evans, Evans going to a slower, like almost like a a, a, a taller tie, like a diesel old style man. He's using his long strikes and just catching. <laughs> Coming forward and then clinching him when he's too close is smart. Waylon smart with the long hook, keeping guarded. Nice teep to the mouth. Nice head kick. He got Waylon on the back foot. Oh! International knee. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! All right, I'm having too much fun now. <laughs> oh. I feel like we're in Bangkok betting on some fights. <laughs> yeah. If we're talking Bangkok, I'm Mr. Charlie, baby. I'm going all in. <laughs> nice Me. fight between two seasoned veterans. And it's zesty in there right now, man. How do you have that round, Mr. Huey? You know, I, you know Evan Bolton, you know, with those long ranging punches and. And, and it's the way his kicks kind of come out of nowhere, right. you know? 
Um, I like his style on that. I think Jordan is trying to grind, get his way in. I see that first round going to Evan, but Jordan really in found, some, found some moments in there. Yeah. And he may have figured out this puzzle in the second round because, again, this is a, a fight between two seasoned fighters, but also two seasoned coaches, and yeah. that's going to change the game. If you guys don't know who Daniel Brandt is, man, slap yourself in the mouth. Uh, I like to call it the Silver Age of Muay Thai when you had guys like Buchanan and, and Brandt and uh, Gary Red Wheeler and Walter McClowski. These guys are out the fairgrounds and murdering each other every other weekend. And here we go for round number two. Mike Winkle John was there. Shout out Coach Wink. Nice. Jordan is smart. He's looking to go towards the legs. Evan's switching back to south. The long straights. Nice knee off the transition. Half shin, half knee into another knee. Nice. They're in a 50-50 clinch, but Waylon has that high underhook. He got his head on the other side, keeping Bolton stationary. Oh, nice. Nice. Bolton swarming long style. Waylon is smart to get to the legs this round. He got to slow Bolton down. Bolton's leaning now with those hips back now. He's going full diesel on this guy. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh! oh another switch <laughs> I knee. called it. Look, 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 look. He's using his range now because he knows that homeboy is attacking his legs. So, so, yes! Guys, that's what's called game planning in action. Smart by Waylon to hold him there. He was getting overwhelmed on the back foot. Nice head kick by Bolt. Blocked by Wayland. Blocked. Parried. It's weird because Evan being so long and how he plays in middle range, it's hard to gauge where he's at. Yeah, absolutely, man. And look he at how he's controlling these knees, man. Tell me it's not reminiscent of like... Uh, he's so Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just in there playing volley with the knees while the guy's struggling to get middle range. Nice, high, curving knee right to the shoulder. That's going to pay some dividends later in the punching side. And this is why kickboxing needs the clinch. Right here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this is why it needed it. And if you had a problem with there being a five-second international rule clinch in kickboxing, watch this fight. Look at these guys. It's a battle of attrition. These are literal tears of contrition dripping off these guys' bodies, and you're watching it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, Evan with that Evan's playing to the judges. He's smart. Oi! 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 I ran out of oi's. I need a new word. <laughs> Oi! That boy built like a salamander, ain't he? <laughs> boy, just all <laughs> muscle and bone. Real good. Look at him. He don't care about those kicks. He's just throwing long shots. Nice check, finally. That leg is looking a little damaged. That lead leg. Oh, wow, man. Strategically, it changed in round number two. Jordan Wheeling with those leg kicks. Yeah. And the bone still, man. That guy can knee you from across yeah. the ring. It was, it was smart transitions on both sides, man. I like, oh. the, I like the scissor kick, scissor knee from Evan Bolton. Yeah. I like the way Jordan Wheeling went with those leg kicks to try to slow down Evan Bolton. And it may be one and one. Let's see who comes out on this third and final round. Hey. Jordan with his coach Danny Brandt. Fighting out the red corner, Evan Bolton. With Hung Vo. Yeah, it's the third savages. and final round. Our second professional fight here at Fighters Rep. And this is the third and final round. We've witnessed amateur action before at two minutes. This is three minutes of full rules kickboxing. And here we go. And three minutes feels like hell, guys. If you've never been <laughs> throwing punches and kicks and knees for 90 seconds, man, it's... 
And they are putting it all on the line, man. Oh, 100 and then with that switch kick. Nice. Oh, Tee with that push the transition. Of the it's, just, it's just a lot of things you can't really train for with height, man. When a guy can get aerial like that and long, it's scary. Like the like Remy, Remy Boniowski was yeah. a good one at that. Evan Bowen with those long, long punches. Yeah, man, he just swarms you like like the golden era, <laughs> golden era guys. <laughs> Walks into a 50-50 clinch, which is beautiful. Evan has him tired. Straight shots. Nice uh, knee! To the head. That one hurt him. Shook him up. And wow, still two minutes to go in his third and final round. Evan Bolton. He's a two. Hey! Head kick off the ropes! You guys got to stay away from them ropes in California, baby. They're dangerous. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the center of the ring like you're used to. <laughs> Spin back Missed fist. spinning back fist. Yep. Good attempt. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. How did it still touch? That man is just that long that the fulcrum of the kick still hit the top of his head when he spun through. Nice! Waylon is on wobbly legs here. He has to do something a minute left. He's going to have to dig deep. Uh, it looks like Bolton has taken over this fight, man. A final minute remains in this third and final round. Evan Bolton landing those hands, switching those legs, switch kicks, switch knees. And, and look at this clinch. You see how he has the nape of his head right behind his arm? He's trapping him with the other arm and just kneeing him with the free side. It's, it's brilliant. See? Bam. And Jordan going, tough man. I ain't mad at it, Jordan. Get your money, baby. And 30 seconds remain in his third and final round. Waylon's going to have to go here. I know Dan's screaming for something, baby. You got to go here. 20 seconds. You got to know you're down this round. It could be an even fight. 18 seconds. And Bolton is coming away with this with just this. There you go. Jordan's going to have to engage here. He's got the break. Get out of this clinch. Short time. Nice. What a fight, man, between two vets, man. And it's a very interesting clash of styles. Evan Stylistics. Bolton with that long range, long punches, scissor kicks, scissor knees. And Jordan Willing trying to grind inside, scoring with the leg kicks. Yeah, baby. And getting those shots inside. But, man, Evan Bolton, you know, he's so long and so rangy. And he doesn't really move his body that much. Like, he doesn't lean back when he kicks. Right. And so it's hard to see his technique come. But they come and they find yeah. its mark. And I see this one going to Evan Bolton. Yeah, when you're when you're that tall and long, man, you could play that middle range and not have to do a lot of movement with your head and neck. You gotta force the guys to move you. And that's what he was doing to Jordan. He was forcing Jordan to move him, to fight him at his height. Look at that. There's no way he can get those knees up there. Evan's just a waist above. These exchanges is where he would have had his most success, but as you can see, eyes were closed in pivotal parts. As opposed to Evan, eyes open, focused. Look at this. He knows where he's going because he's looking at it. Uh, nice knee up top, double it up. This was a good fight, man. Very, very good. Very interesting clash of styles. We got Coach Tyler Wombles in the house. Coach T, how you see that, man? How you see that bout, Coach T? Yeah, he said he can't call it. And Evan Bolton pulls out the dub. Wow. Evan Bolton winning all three rounds on all three judges' scorecards. Great fight. 30 27 over Jordan Whelan. And that's a good opponent to get a dub over, man. That's a guy that beat Eddie F. Solo. That's a guy that's internationally known in a tournament circuit. That's a guy that's known in a world circuit, not only for his own work, but for his team. That's a solid W for Evan Bolton. Evan and Bolton improves to 3-0. and 0. 
Yeah, congratulations. Lynch takes us his third loss against one win. But man, that was a grinding, great professional fight here. Yeah, man. Tough night for Dance Gym out here in Cali. But man, his boys came and fought, man. Yeah, absolutely. They put it all on the line. Evan Bolton comes out, remains undefeated in his professional career. Congratulations, Evan Bolton. Let's go, Evan. Good job, man. The thing I like about Evan is that when he misses, he doesn't lose balance. Right. He follows up with another technique. Like he'll switch kick, and then if he misses a round kick, he'll push kick. He'll follow up with something, and again, very little body movement from him. So those punches and kicks come out of nowhere for Evan Bolton. And I, I really like how he how he stayed basic, man. It was almost old school the way he stayed to his strengths and made the guy fight to him instead of fighting down or fighting low, as we call it. He stayed on his strong points. Bolton, Evan, a main event performance, if I if I can say so myself. How do you feel about your fight? Um, I'm glad I won. Jordan is a tough, he's one tough guy. Yes. I definitely think that things I could approve on, but I won the end of the day, so I just gotta be happy. Thank you, God. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my coach, Coach Hong, Coach Jen for taking care of me. My teammates, Hong, Jen, Cam, Lolo, Chris, Irvine Oyama, Hardware Fitness, who gave me amazing work, get through the camp. I want to thank all my sponsors, on yep. Gardena and Jury and Lum, on Velus and Zeke, what is it, Mac Ink Cats, um, uh, where's it going? Versus, versus. Ver Ketos. <laughs> versus yeah, Kino. that's yeah. how we said I'm, I said that one. There you go. Yeah, but, that <laughs> no, was a great night, Long. I had a city-ass camp, but I put it through all together, so I'm happy about that, you know? Like, I got sick like four times when he camp, injured. Wow. Like, I had an interview with this dude when I had his stomach flu, I was dying. <laughs> Thanks for making my post fight video look amazing. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Hard Works, for having me. I'm looking forward to being back. Thank you, Greg, Jordan. And uh, yeah. Well, let's talk about the fight. And as you mentioned, much respect to Jordan. Well, I mean, you were throwing everything at him but the kitchen sink. Did you, what was going through your head when it just felt like Jordan Wiley just kept coming towards you, even into the third round? I knew he was going to do it, but when you experience and you think about it, it's two different things. At one point, I was just like, stop fucking up, stop coming forward. <laughs> okay, push kick, nah, left hand, don't. <laughs> then I was like, I was kind of scared of the jumping in the end, like maybe he'll walk to the jumping in, then he stopped walking in the end, I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> Like, it's been three rounds trying to set it up, then ain't stopped coming forward, but it's whatever. Now, it is great that you've made your pro career now. We've been waiting for it. How do you feel going from amateurs to pro here in Fighters Rap? I love it, man. I'm happy. This has honestly been a goal since day one, me and my coach making it happen. Like, nine years ago, my coach said we were going to come world champs, and nobody believed us. And look at us now, we're one step closer. There you go. I do like the sound of Evan Bolton, pro fighters rep champion. Do you think that's right around the corner? I mean, I would love to be the champ. I think that's up to George. I'm on a happy key training, key climbing the ranks. Looking forward to the next challenge. Yeah. There you go. All right, I'm going to give you your moment. Last shout out to your friends, fans, family here in fighters rep. I love all you guys, y'all oh, amazing. My boy Michael, Ken Spencer, Sam, all oh, Hard Works family, my beautiful mother, my sister, all the IKF crew, you guys like family, Taylor, all my sponsorships. I love you guys. Keep it up. All this possibly crazy. I love all you guys. Make some noise. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. Hey, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I know you're waiting for that. Once again, it's always a pleasure having Evan Bolton here in the ring.